Hello, this is D and I'm back with another video. Well, AMD officially launched their Ryzen CPU today and they announced the prices and the specs for the R7 line. Now this consists of the 1800X, the 1700X, and the 1700 CPU. Now these are eight cores, 16 thread CPUs. Now they had a press conference this morning, so I'm just gonna play a little snippet of this press conference. And then when it's over, I'm gonna come in with my opinions and also give you guys a breakdown of the CPUs that are available. Again, this is the broadest ecosystem that we've had because there's tremendous pent-up demand for Ryzen. Okay, so now we've gone through products, we've gone through performance, we've gone through ecosystem, and I know everyone is wondering about Ryzen pricing. And this is actually the most fun because I get a lot of advice about what we should or shouldn't price Ryzen at, from many of you, actually, um, telling us what we should do. Um, but our focus, actually, is on the users. It's on the PC ecosystem. And when you look at the PC market today, there are just a large number of users who want to game in 4K, or they want to create and share content, including photos and videos. Or you might even want to design your own thing, your own house, your own um, product. And you need a heck of a lot of performance to do that. But we also realize that most PC CPU buyers don't want to spend more than $500. In fact, 99% of the people will buy CPUs less than $500. And so we had one goal in mind with Ryzen. We wanted to disrupt the PC market. We wanted to bring innovation, choice, and performance to as many people as possible. And so this is about bringing high performance computing to an order of magnitude more people. So with that, let me talk to you about the rise in pricing. We start first with the 1800X. I told you, this is the fastest eight-core desktop processor in the market today. We have the results to show you. Our competition is priced at $1,000. AMD Ryzen, 499. More performance, half the price, all for the user. Going to the 1700X. I told you, more performance, more cores, more threads, beating the 6800K by 39%. Our competition is priced at 425. 1700X is priced at 399. All right, and for our last guy in the family, I told you we wanted to bring eight cores, 16 threads to as many people as possible low power, multi-threaded, very high performance, 46% over the 7700K. Our competition is at 350. We will retail at 329. I hope you guys are excited because we certainly are. There you have it, our Ryzen 7 portfolio 1700, 1700X, 1800X. And now it's important for me to tell you when you can buy these things. We go on shelf worldwide, hard launch, March 2nd. And look, our goal is the user, and we know there's incredible anticipation for Ryzen, and so we're doing something special with Ryzen. We're actually announcing today that pre-orders for Ryzen start tomorrow, February 22nd, and we will have over 180 retailers and system integrators ready to take orders tomorrow. I hope you guys have your money ready. We've made plenty of processors, but more than that, I think we are extremely proud with what we've been able to put together. So look, Today's a very special day for AMD. I want to summarize and close by saying this. Many of you have seen me over the last 12 or 18 months 
And what I have told you is that the best is yet to come. And this is truly, without a doubt, our best product lineup in over a decade. But what I want to tell you today is the best starts now. We are launching Ryzen Desktop on March 2nd on plan. We have Radeon Vega and Radeon Instinct that will be available in the second quarter. We have Naples for the data center that will be available in the second quarter. And we have Ryzen Mobile also with the Zen CPU core in the second half of the year. So it's an incredible busy 2017, but I want to just leave you with, on behalf of every single AMDer, every single employee, I could not be more proud of Ryzen. I could not be more proud of what we're going to bring to the PC mar market. 2017 is going to be an incredible year. Thank you very much for your incredible support. And I will say one more thing to all of you reviewers. We welcome you to review to your heart's content. Have incredible fun playing with Ryzen. Thank you. Shots fired. AMD has officially put Intel on notice. This most definitely is going to be a disruptive product. Now, the pre-orders have opened up today, February 22nd, so you can get them wherever you get your computer components from Amazon, NCIX. Place your order today if this is something that you're interested in. And of course, this will be coming out on the 2nd of March. Now, I'm going to go through the R7 line of CPUs. Now, they have the 1700, which is an 8-core, 16-thread CPU with a 3 gigahertz base and a 3.7 gigahertz boost priced at $329. Then you have the 1700X which is also an 8 core 16 thread CPU with a base clock of 3.4 gigahertz and a boost clock of 3.8 gigahertz priced at $399. Then you have the flagship which is the 1800X and it's an 8 core 16 thread CPU as well with a base clock of 3.6 gigahertz and a boost clock of 4 gigahertz priced at $499. Now, the 1800X is going to compete with the i7-6900K, and it beats it by 9%. Now, these processors have XFR, which can overclock even higher than these benchmarks suggest. We're going to have to wait till the reviews come out to get the full story on this. Now, AMD kills the i7-6900K in price, as it costs 50% less and still outperforms it. Now, these results have gamers collectively losing their shit, myself included, I can barely fucking talk. Now the 1700 will compete with the i7-7700K and it has a 65 watt TDP and beats Intel by 46%. By the way, these benchmarks were done using the Cinebench and also the price for the i7-7700K is uh, $350. And the Ryzen 1700 CPU is 329 so it's also beating Intel in dollars and performance. And at 65 watts TDP, it makes it the lowest power consumption of any retail PC CPU. Now the uh, 1700X has a 95 watt TDP and it's for the enthusiasts and AMD compares this to the i7-6800K which AMD says beats it in price and it crushes it by 38% in performance. Now to break down the numbers, the i7-6800K is 425 and the 1700X from AMD is 399 with much higher performance. This is a disruptive product indeed. Now remember, these tests do not include the overclocking numbers. This is amazing. Uh, did I mention that the pre-order is open up today? Like, what are you guys waiting for? Go out there and pre-order this CPU. In the last 10 years, we have not had something like this where um, you know, it, it was such a benefit to the consumer for so long. Intel has been gouging us, and you know the the price point that AMD released today with a 50% uh, price reduction compared to Intel with a higher performance lets us know that we've been getting gouged for years. Now the R7 line of CPUs looks poised to take out the Intel i7 series of CPU chips, and you know there are many new architecture features, and you know I guess as the review comes out. Um, more information will be available now i have to say i've been waiting for this for a long long time um actually last year i ended up building another cpu uh, i i put an i5 in there and uh the type of motherboard that i have i have um 
forget the name of the motherboard right now, but I can send that motherboard in and they'll give me a new motherboard that will support the uh, um, the AMD chips. So I'm definitely going to be jumping on the Ryzen bandwagon. Anyways, I want to know what you guys think about this. Are you guys excited that finally you're going to have a good performing CPU that's not going to break the bank? And mind you, these are the eight core uh, uh, 16 thread CPUs. We haven't even touched the 6 core 12 thread CPUs, much less the 4 core threads, which are going to be incredibly cheap. Anyways, I want to know what you guys think, so please leave your comments down below. I ask you guys to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one.